I'm definitely that person at Christmas that actually enjoys sitting on the floor, you know? If you go and see family and there's never enough room on the sofas, I'm that one that's like, yeah, I'll sit on the floor, I don't mind, I like it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. It is a follow on from last video, which was a Christmas gift guide for her video. So today I'm gonna to be doing the Christmas gift guide for him. So if you haven't already checked out the other video, then I will leave it listed below for you if you want to see some gift ideas for her. Um, but as for today, we're going to focus on the boys. The people that I would buy for would be my dad, my brother, and Tom, my boyfriend. So they're the three kind of main people that I'm buying gifts for him for this year. What do you think of my setup, by the way? If you didn't see the other video, you won't know that this is my living area, lounge area downstairs. So I thought I would change things up for these Christmassy videos, just because I love my bedroom, but it's not very festive. So I've got the fairy lights out, which are from Primark. I've got my candles burning. I've got my chocolates out, ready for whenever I wanna eat them and feel fat. And then, yeah, I've just like got cozy like rugs and everything. I just love it down here, especially when it's Christmassy in this time of the year. Especially when it gets dark, I just put all the candles on, put the TV on. So I thought, why not film down here? Now I've got actually quite a few ideas for, for him. I think it's probably my biggest gift guide video that I'm doing. I am gonna be doing a stocking filler gift guide for next video, which is on Sunday. So if you wanna see that, then stay tuned. But I think I'm just gonna get started with this one because when I say I'm just gonna get started, I've been talking for a while. So let's get started. So the first gift idea I have are for like leather goods section. So um, I think for men, it can be quite hard to buy for. Personally, I think they're quite hard to, to get for. But if you kind of follow the theme of going with something that you're, the guy that you're buying for likes, then that's perfect. So if they're into fashion and style and like expensive designer kind of like wallets or something like that, then I think this is a good buy. It's from Aspinall of London. This was a gift that I bought for Tom last year, I think. We like to keep all of our nice gift items like this all boxed up still. Plus, I love the packaging that Aspinall of London do. Um, I'll leave this and along with everything else that I mentioned in the video listed below in case you're interested in getting it yourself. But essentially, if I open it up and show you, they then tissue wrap it with a little Aspinall of London uh, tag there. I love the fact that these are made in England as well. So I got him this travel case with the Aspinall of London logo there and it's all also personalised with his initials T-A-L there. On the back it has Aspinall of London, England and then if you open it up, it has different sections which you can kind of follow or not if you don't want to but whenever you're out and about traveling then you can keep your boarding pass here you can keep your currency in here in this zip up section tickets passport documents and other so it's just essentially a travel document holder which I think keeps everything neat and organized for when you're traveling. Just sometimes whenever you're getting flights and things, if you've got a big backpack or even like a travel suitcase to take on as hand luggage, then to have all your important documents that you need to get out and show quite often, which as you know, if you've been to an airport, constantly getting out boarding passes and passports, then having it all to hand in this, I think is a great gift idea. And it's just a very quintessentially British gift to get somebody. So yes, this is the first item. The second item, or two, next two items I should say, are good, I think, for a music lover. So um, first of all, I'll show you uh, these. I think if you get some headphones for somebody, then it's a really nice gift. Now, Tom absolutely loves these. They are his Beats headphones. He got them from the Apple Store, so I'll leave them listed below. He wears these to the gym. He likes to listen to like podcasts at night when he's going to sleep. So he'll put these on and then I can't hear a thing. I also have these, which are kind of like music slash tech lovers. They are the Apple ear pods. So that's what they look like. I don't know if you've seen these before. They kind of look like the Apple headphones there. And if you take them out, they have a microphone on the end. So Tom really likes these for using for like business and he'll take work calls or he'll, he likes to walk around and about when he's on the phone to somebody at work. So instead of having to sit by his desk with a phone or have like a big Bluetooth headset or anything like that, he loves just walking around with these in and it's incredible. I don't, you can't even see it yet. He's talking to someone and they can hear him loud and clear. Don't know how it works, 
But yeah, he really likes these. I think they retail for about £150, something like that. But I'll leave them listed below. And again, if you're a music lover, you can listen to your music through these as well. Another thing that you could obviously get a music lover if they're into a particular band is concert tickets. If somebody they really like is performing soon in an area local to you, then I think that's a really nice gift to give along with of course any other experience or travel or something like that where it's more of an experience as opposed to a materialistic item then I think that's really thoughtful and I think men really appreciate that as well so um, obviously women do too but I do think men like the idea of a sentimental gift as well so I think travelbooking.com is really good for not, you know, free cancellation up until the night before and then you can pay when you get there as well. Um, likewise, if you like as a couple to go to spas, then maybe have a spa day because they can be quite pricey. We've done it on the odd occasion and me and Tom love it, but it is very expensive so it's a good gift for somebody. And then of course in, if they're into cars, maybe you can get them a driving experience, which actually I've been on one for my 21st birthday, which my little brother got me, and I loved it. I'm not like a super car lover or anything, but I absolutely loved it. It was a really fun day and my score was actually a lot higher than a lot of the other middle-aged men that were there that day, so um, yeah, loved that. The next thing I wanted to show you was a fragrance, so again, depending depending on your budget and what your guy likes that you're buying for, then obviously that will depend on what to get. This is one that uh, Tom has and uses that he absolutely loves. I love it too. It's called Thamine and it's in the Nasak. Um, oh, so nice. I nearly like put it on my lipstick then, but yeah, it's so, so nice. This one, I have to admit, is a luxury one. It's quite pricey, um, but it has, I remember they were explaining that it has like oils in it so that it clings to the clothing so that you can literally just do one spritz and for the amount of time that you wear that clothing, if you re-wear a certain jumper or jacket, you literally can smell it on it for weeks afterwards. It's incredible. So love that, would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a high end. I also really like Tom Ford fragrances as well for the high end. The next gift idea is something that I'm getting for a family member which they kind of know about because I did kind of question if they'd like it or not, but I think it's a really exciting one and it's essentially a DNA kit. So if you are buying for somebody who's quite into their family history and looking back at throughout their family, then I think this is a really exciting gift. It's kind of on the pricey side at, well they, they range, there's a few different ones you can get them from, um, a few different brands, sorry. But they range from about 50 to 70 pounds, that's the rough, some are even more than that though. This is from My Heritage DNA. Another thing I noticed is that the DNA kits that you buy, um, well, for the couple of brands that I was looking at, are based in America. So this actually arrived fairly quickly. You do the little DNA swab, I think it's like a cheek swab, and then you send it off. So the person that I'm buying this for loves looking into our family tree history, so he's gonna love this. But who knows, we might even have a Viking or royal bloodline within us, who knows. So yeah, I think that's really exciting. I'm kind of jealous, I kind of want to try this for myself as well. So yeah, that should be interesting. Okay, so another high-end gift, which I think you could get for, for the guy who has everything, and if you've got a fairly high budget as well, and it is these Mont Blanc pen and pencils, well, Mont Blanc pens or pencils. Uh, these are both Tom's. One of them I got for a gift for him, and another he's um, in fact, I think they were both gifts for him, but one was from me. And I got him the pencil to match the pen. These retail at around, I mean, depending on the size that you get and the colour, they start at around £250, so it is quite pricey. I personally, Tom nearly bought me one and I said don't bother because I think it's too expensive. But some people really appreciate um, pens and pencils as gifts. And if you're looking for a luxury one, then I definitely recommend Mont Blanc. If you're still looking for a luxury pen set, then cross pens are also very good, but they're a lot more budget friendly. So I think they're usually between about 30 to 70 pounds, something like that. Okay, so next up I have a grooming appliance kind of thing, electrical appliance. So um, I would recommend getting a shaver. So this is for a particular somebody in my family this year who is in need of one. 
and um, I went for the Babyless for Men 10 in 1 Titanium Groomer so this isn't like a closed shave it's more of a trim which I know he prefers um, it has different heads as well so you can even trim your nose hair if you want to you can get short um, like close shades for like I don't know beard I don't know I don't know how it works but anyway it was recommended this one so this is the one I went for it was on offer in Tesco's for I think about £30 this one so um, yeah I'll leave it listed below in case you're interested in picking it up yourself but I think that's a nice practical gift for your loved one okay so the tech lover i.e. Tom. Tom is a massive tech lover and this year he's asked for something in particular and it's killing him because I've got it here in front of me and he can't open it until Christmas and it's the iPhone 10. Now we got this on not on pre-order but we on the date of release we pretty much got online straight away and ordered one and so it's been with us for quite a while really um, but we're holding on to it. It's the one which is 256 gigabyte of data I think in space grey is the one he wanted so that's what I've got him I've not personally got it for him it's actually a combined gift for a few other family members for him I've got him something else which I'm not going to show in this video he is so excited to open it cannot wait however it's over a grand so it's definitely a high-end item to buy for a tech lover but if you've got the budget and they're after a new phone and the iPhone 10. Another high priced item for a tech lover as well is a drone so we've got the Mavic DJI DJI Mavic Pro drone which I think we got from the Apple store and it essentially looks like this I'm not going to open it up properly actually but I'll leave it listed below if you're interested what I will say is we used this drone to shoot some footage when we went to Ibiza so I did an Ibiza vlog and included some of the footage that we filmed on this drone so if you want to see the quality of some of the images you can get I'll leave that video listed below for you so you can check it out. A more affordable gift alternative for um, a loved one who is a male or also female I suppose. This one could relate to either but I think a magazine subscription is a nice idea. So I think most magazines will do them in 3, 6, 12 month subscriptions, plans and depending on their price I know you can get them from like a pound a month so you could get a year's supply from about £12. So it can be a really affordable gift. I think you've just got to consider what sort of uh, hobby that guy likes, whether it be shooting or football or uh, fishing or fashion or cars, whatever it may be. I think a magazine subscription is quite a nice different idea for somebody who has a particular interest or hobby. Now I've got some recommendations for gamers and obviously each to their own, each gamer will vary in terms of interest and what they like. I haven't got a clue on this kind of area so I asked Tom what he would recommend and he said Call of Duty World War 2 which is the latest new release game for either PlayStation or um, Xbox whichever your guy has. He also said something called a SNES which is a Super Nintendo remake which he would recommend. I also got him last year as a bit of a retro gamer item. You might have seen these yourself if you're kind of like grew up in the same era as me but I got him last year this Game Boy Color along with a few games to put in the back so it's just something fun it actually was quite hard to find this to be completely honest I had to go on to Amazon I think I ended up getting it from or eBay um, and yeah it's just a fun little thing to open on Christmas Day and just have a play with because I think every guy on Christmas has that inner child in them to want to play with something get a new toy and something exciting so that's something that I got for Tom last year. Similarly with the whole gaming kind of like fun toy opening on Christmas, I thought up, uh, in fact I actually suggested to Tom and just before I was going to suggest what it was, he said oh a Nerf gun would be really fun to open. So you can get the big Nerf guns which are actually quite expensive. Um, I've just got a little toy one here which we've had I think got this last year but it's just something a little fun obviously this is just like a toy little one but you can get the big ones and boys in their element at Christmas playing with that I mean something that I personally don't get and appreciate but apparently it could be quite a good idea to get them that so that's another idea another idea that actually both me and Tom appreciate is Lego now again Lego can be quite pricey I think this was about 80 pounds one of Tom's day-to-day -to -day jobs is to sell vans he has 
sold quite a few camper vans in the past, so um, this was quite fun to get. We also have a Ferrari, which we built, and what was the other one? A Mini. So I'll leave them all below, but this one is the latest one, which we're kind of half building at the minute. We've got this far, let me show you. And I just kind of keep it stored away in the box until we get it out and have time to finish it. That's what it's looking like so far. Uh, but yeah, it's just a something fun to do, which again, on Christmas, opening up on Christmas, it's just something that you've got no excuse to have to do work or anything at all on Christmas. So it's just sit down, play with it, enjoy it, build it if you like Lego, and that's something that I actually quite enjoy doing too. And another thing that I enjoy doing, Tom not so much, but it's kind of along the same lines, is puzzles. So for a puzzle lover, I think to get something like this would be a really fun Christmas idea because again it's something you can come and go to throughout the day so this is also a good idea to have a puzzle roll mat so that throughout building it if ever you need to clear it away to like set the table or something like that then this can keep it going for a while so if you've got a big puzzle like this thousand piece one then you can come and go to it as you please and still keep it neatly stored away so I think that's a good gift. The last gift idea I have for him is actually the thing that I first ever got Tom for Christmas so we were still fairly new at dating and Still getting to know each other but kind of like progressing into the relationship so I thought I would get him a Christmas gift didn't know what to get him because I didn't know him that well yet but I did notice that he dressed quite smart and whenever we went out he always had a pocket square and so I got this box from I think Paper Chase I got this from and I just filled it with lots of different pocket squares that I got from all different shops and he now just keeps all of his pocket squares in here so it's actually neatly stored away and I just think that's a cute little gift for somebody who you're not quite sure um, what they might like but that they are somebody that takes care of their presentation and they dress smart, they wear pocket squares I think that's quite a fun, fairly affordable, I mean it adds up the more pocket squares you add to it, but you can get lots of different pocket squares from all over, I think ASOS did some really cheap ones as well, and again, yeah, it was from Paper Chase, this box. Just get a little box like this, wrap a big bow around it, and it's a cute little Christmas gift. That is everything that I got in the gift guide for him video, let me know which of the suggestions that you like. Or, of course, if you've got any other suggestions on gifts for him, and I'll be sure to check them out. Don't forget to stay tuned for Sunday's video, which is the stocking filler gift guide. And again, if you've not seen the gift guide for her, I'll leave it listed below. And until next time, bye guys. Just currently eating some chocolate. But hey, it's Christmas, so I feel like you kind of have to. Okay. Just shush up the hair. So, if you want to see what over so I thought well, why not so the wireless Bluetooth speakers uh, speakers headphones earphones headphones a bit it but essentially and who knows we might find out that we are part Viking or or American or wherever we're from <laughs> that's a really shit explanation so who knows we might even This is again another high end ticket, high ticket price item. Now, I think you've just got to like, um, I think you've just got to, I think you've just got to, I'm not that uh, clued up upon, uh, up, 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 up. <laughs> puzzle like this thousand, like this thousand piece one, and just kind of like have it, and he now just has it as a, and he now just keeps all of his points. Don't forget to stay tuned for next week's video, which, no, not next week's video. <laughs>